So we are done with our UI. Now it's time to work on uh, the navbar button functionalities. When a navbar button is pressed, we want to move to that specific section. So basically, when we press on the skills uh, button, that should move to that uh, skills section. Or when we tap on this project section, it should jump to that uh, project section down here. All right, that's what we are going to do. So first of all, we are going to move up here and just right, right under this scaffold widget, we're going to uh, create one uh, scroll controller and assign, it, assign that uh, to our scroll, scroll controller uh, var variable, all right? So, and then what we are going to do is we come down here and we have this list view widget. We are not going to use this list view list view widget. Instead, we're going to uh, use column widget and wrap it with single child scroll view. Because if, we, if you want to move to a specific widget um, in the widget tree, uh, you want that widget to be rendered beforehand. Otherwise, it's going to throw an error. Uh, basically, that, that error uh, tells you that your widget is not uh, render it yet so you cannot show that widget on the UI okay so that's why what we are going to do is we use column and we remove this scroll direction and we wrap our column with a widget and that is single child scroll view widget okay and we are going to uh, have we, we are going to grab that controller property of it and assign our scroll controller to this controller, okay? So, and then let's actually assign scroll direction as well, axis dot vertical. So, although that is a default value. And then what we want to do is we want to create uh, a number of global keys. We want to specify a key to the widget we want to scroll to, okay? So now I'll show you what I mean. Let's create a list, and that is going to be a list of um, global key. Let's name this variable to nav, uh, navbar keys, and that is going to be list.generate. We will generate a list of four items, and it will return global key. So basically this navbar uh, keys variable will hold or holds uh, four global keys. That is a key for each of our uh, navbar items or navbar buttons up here, except for this uh, block, because this block button, when it's pressed, it should open a new tab, which should show our blog website, okay? So, and then uh, what I want to do is come down here, I will grab this navbar keys and I'll assign that to, first of all, this home button, when this home is pressed, it should show this main section, okay? It should actually basically scroll or jump to the top of the page, okay? So that's why what, what I want to do here, instead of assigning the key to this header or header, uh, header desktop or header mobile, I'll create one sized box here, okay, size box, and I will just assign the first key to this uh, sized box, okay? Uh, basically, if we tap on this home button, we want to show this size, we want to jump to this sized box. Uh, which is the top of the page, okay? So, and then we will scroll down. Uh, our main section is also visible when this top is visible, all right? So we can move down and here on our skills section, we will again get the key property of the container and we put our navbar keys and now we want to get the second item in the list. So that is going to be a second global key in our navbar keys list, all right? Then we move down again, and down here we have project section, all right? 
So to this one as well, we will get the key property and grab our list, a global key list, and then we will get the third item in the list. Okay, now it's no longer const. Then we have contact section. So for this one, we can grab the key property again and get our navbar keys list. Then we will get the third item or fourth item in the list, right? So that's going to be our contact section. Now our keys are assigned to the to the to the widgets to the widgets uh, we need to jump to. Uh, there's one thing we need to change on our navbar buttons. That is, we let's actually put this block at the end of our list of our navbar. Okay, because we can be, we can easily check uh, if the items are uh, if the index is zero, one, two, or three. Okay. And then four. Okay. If the, the index is four, we can just jump, or open, or call another function to open a blog website. Otherwise, all the all the other items will jump to a specific section. Okay. So now, what I want to do, I'll come up here. We have header desktop, header mobile, right? So let's actually go to header desktop, and inside that header desktop we have we should have nav titles right here let's go there here we have nav items.dart file inside our constants folder all right so let's actually change this block just down here okay under the contact basically the last item in the list and let's grab this web icon as well and put it at the end of the list now if i save it the block should be at the end as you can see just like this now we can make this smaller and on the mobile view our block is at the end as well all right it's just uh, you can you can actually leave it as it is and check for the condition of uh, whether the the index of the navbar item is three or not okay i just wanted to deal with this as a last item okay that's what i wanted as a preference so I can close this now items and header desktop as well for now. Now what we need to do is we need to deal with the tap functionality. When this is tapped, we need to move to that section. Okay. So first of all, let's come here. We have our, where is it? On the mobile, we have our draw drawer mobile, right? We go into that function and here we will create uh, create or will pass a function to this drawer mobile uh, widget so that will be function integer we will pass an integer to that function uh, or through that function and that will be on nav item tap okay now we can add that final uh, parameter and we will grab this on nav item tab and we come down here and just write right here on tab we will call that function and we pass the item or index of our navbar item okay and then we'll come here okay let's actually save it and we will come to our home page Again, home page file. Now we will remove this const because it's no longer const and we need to assign that required parameter of drawer mobile widget. And it will have integer of nav index, nav, nav bar item index. And here we want to call our function, okay? Call function. So we will do that later. Now let's come down and we have our header desktop let's remove this mm, is it header yeah header desktop let's go into that and here we have the same uh, pretty much similar UI but as a row okay basically this one we have all of our navbars that are aligned or, or that are lined up um, 
as children of row widget. So here, we'll come up here and we'll do the same. Final function will pass, uh, pass integer and the name of the function on uh, nav men on nav menu tab. Was it like that? I think so. Mm, on nav tab or on menu tab. Let's add the final required parameter to this. Let's form, let's add the comma there to format it properly. Okay. And we will grab that on nav menu tab and we come down and just right here, we can pass our nav bar item index. All right. Now we'll save it and we come here and we'll remove that const again. And here we have that desktop and we have the integer of nav index just like that nav index and we will call the function to jump to a specific widget that's what we are going to do right now so now what we want to do i want to scroll down all the way down and here i want to um create a new function that is void and I'll name that scroll let's say to section scroll to section and I'll pass a integer of nav um, nav index okay I'll pass that and then first of all I will check if uh, nav index is equal to 4 if that's the case I want to open open a block page block page okay and then i'll return from that i don't want to do anything else because this if that's that's four that means uh, user tapped on this block navbar item or navbar button all right and we want to open a new uh, new tab with our block page so then if that's not the case we continue uh, to we continue to our functionality of jumping to a section. So final key, I'll create a new key and the key will be will equal to nav, uh, nav keys or nav bar keys. And I'll get the, I'll grab the uh, global key at the index of nav bar index or nav bar button index, which is pressed. Okay. So, and then I will use Mm, scrollable okay scrollable I'll use the scrollable and I I'll use the ensure in, ensure visible method of that uh, scrollable all right and I'll modify uh, properties of this ensure ensure visible prop uh, method all right so duration for the duration let's make it const and duration of I'll make it milliseconds of 500 all right and the next one I want to change the curve or assign the curve of let's have curves dot is let's say is in out probably I think this should this should do it let's save it now instead of instead of this context I want to grab this key and get the current context not state but current context of this key all right and I want uh, and that should be that should not be null so now if I save it now let's actually try to jump to a section let's try to jump to skill section okay it did not jump to a section the reason because we did not call this function anywhere yet okay we go scroll all the way up here uh, here nav index our drawer mobile uh, let's make this smaller so that our mobile version of the page is visible okay now we have our nav bars as a sidebar this drawer and I will I want to call my scroll to section um, function and we need to pass an index which is nav item index all right 
So before we jump to a section, we want to close the sidebar as well. So how we do that, we have here scaffold key, current state, open drawer. Instead of that, we can call close and drawer. Okay, let's do that here. Instead of that, close and drawer. All right, now let's save it. Okay, now let's open the sidebar and let's jump to skills section. All right, here, as you can see, our skills section is visible. So if we try to jump to contact section, all right, it's working as expected. How about uh, project section? All right, it's working just fine. Now we need to implement the same functionality to our desktop version. All right, let's make it bigger. If we do that, and if we, if we try to tap on any of the buttons, it doesn't work because we did not assign this fun function to our uh, header desktop yet, okay? We just call that function inside here. If I save it, now if I try to tap on skill section, you can see the skill section is visible. If we try to go to project section, project section, and then contacts, okay, contact. So as you can see, we have these jump, uh, jumping to section functionality is ready, but we have this block, okay? It doesn't do anything yet. So what we want to do here, we come all the way down to our scroll to section function. And here we will use that uh, JavaScript, which is shipped with uh, Dart, okay? JS, we already, we already should have that JS, I think. Okay, let's go up if we do not have that import it, we can just import it, okay? Let's try to import it, import, and that is Dart JS. Let's import it as JS, all right? And we come all the way down here, and we get the context, and open met, uh, call method, actually, call method, that will be open, and then we pass our mm, link to this call method. So that will be, we have SNS links, all right? SNS links dot, we don't have our blog link yet. That's why we come here and we can say blog, just like that. You can add your link down here and I'll add my blog link, www.shahruhak.com and I'll open specifically my tech blog, okay? Just like that and I can save it I can come here and then I'll just uh, add that block link here and if we save it now let's try to open our blog page okay as you can see here uh, I my blog page is open all right so that's it now we have uh, that jumping functionality and I mean the functionalities of navbar and that sidebar is also working so let's try to clean up our code a little bit okay basically removing unnecessary stuff from our code for example we don't need this height and then we can add some spacing here let's remove unnecessary imports this one and this one as well we have this, this, this. We don't need this ones. 